Hello everyone, um, I'd like to tell you guys about the new donation button you'll find at the banner art and my channel's about screen. So I'm saving up for some new tech for the channel, um, so no, some more uh, you know, computer stuff, things like that. Any support given is greatly appreciated guys, thank you to everybody. On to the top 5 greatswords. Alright guys, so number 5 is going to be Black Knight Greatsword. This is going to be my number 5 pick for top 5 greatswords in the entirety of Dark Souls 3, so check it out. Black Knight Sword plus 5, it gets C scaling and strength, D scaling and dex, 20 and 15 are the requirements. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the item description. So, great sword wielded by black knights who wandered the lands, designed to face chaos demons. The unique attack of the sword greatly reduces enemy poise, reflecting the tremendous size of the enemies that the knights have fiercely faced. Skills, perseverance, raise sword in name of the first lord to temporarily boost poise. Damage is reduced while activated. That's a big one. So, we're hitting for 560. Um, it gets with the C and D scaling here. So the poise right here just makes you a absolute damage dealing beast. Um, you know, smart people will stay away from you while it's activated, but it's very easy to get off and destroy people when you're fighting them. Let's hop into the ring. We're gonna see how it goes. With the number five pick. Alright guys, also if you end up enjoying today's video of my top five great swords, don't forget to support the channel, leave a like before you go. Let's do it. See how we do against our first opponent with our number five pick. We have a uh oh split leaf greatsword and it is less buffed. But watch, we can power right through anything he's doing. There it is, right there. That's why the sword is so goddamn deadly. 810 damage. Just cut through whatever he's doing. Does not matter, dude. The poise, the perseverance, and he didn't learn. It's all over. Good game. This has been my top five pick, Black Knight Greatsword. Alright, number four is going to be the Twin Prince's Greatsword. So this sword right here is a beast for many reasons, so check it out. We have the Twin Prince's Greatsword plus five, gets descaling in both strength and dex. Sword forged from the reunion of inseparable swords, both from the souls of Lothric and Lorien, the Twin Princes. The reunion is rooted as a curse and perpetuated by grief. Skills, Sacred Light, and Flame. On stance, use normal attack to cast Sacred uh, Lothric Light and strong attack for the flame. Um, we are hitting four... 550 with both descaling here across the board on everything. So this weapon is beast. You have to be on new game plus two to get it because you need both souls from the twin princes fight. So you have two different weapon arts right there. It is badass. Has the normal uh, great sword moveset along with two horizontal R2 swipes. So very awesome. You have to roll to dodge the uh, the Lothric light very fast. All right, so let's see how we do. With the Twin Princess Greatsword, my number four pick for top greatswords in the entirety of Dark Souls 3. Alright, looks like, ooh, we got uh, Freed's Great Scythe here. So this weapon, man, gives you a lot of options. Um, you know, you can keep your opponent guessing. The damage you get out from it is actually very, very decent. Um, you know, it's a special sword in the sense of also you need two different souls. You gotta combine them to get it. You gotta beat the game, you know, twice. So definitely gonna find its way onto our top five lists. I was thinking about doing a top 10, but I was like, eh, that's going to be too much. So I decided to go with the top 5. So let's see how we can. This guy's just... There you go. 200, 208 damage. Just for popping that out real quick. It's going to allow us to get some blue goo up in here. Hit him again right through his ice. Didn't even see it coming. Big damage. Here we go. Nope. Oh, shit. And it's over. Right through the weapon. Alright, good game, man. Twin Princess Greatsword. Number 4. Alright, number three, the holiest of the Moonlight. The Moonlight Greatsword is going to be my number three pick for the list. So check it out. Moonlight Greatsword plus five. Get E scaling strength, B scaling in uh, intelligence. So basically, this is going to allow you to be a caster with a vengeance. So legendary dragon, uh, weapon associated with Seeds of Pale Drake. Charge strong attack to limit its unleashed Moonlight wave. Osiris, the Kasum King, was infatuated with the search of the Moonlight, but in the end, it was never uh, revealed itself to him. So you get the Moonlight Vortex for the weapon skill on this bad boy. So uh, you, if you hold... Left trigger, let's see what our AR is, 577, so very good AR with this dude, and we're able to cast big time with this, so that's left trigger right there, right trigger charge, shoots a beam, a wave across the stage, and you're able to cast sorceries, so it gives you many, many options, that's why it's going to land itself as number three, I love options, as you guys know, Moonlight Greatsword, badass. Alright, let's see how we do with it, our number three pick 
for top, 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 top great swords. Dark Soul 3. Now, I'm glad I could do this video now that all of the DLC is out. Everything's available to us, so now we can really, you know, this is my opinion, my fucking humble-ass opinion, by the way, before anybody fucking rips my uh, choices apart down below in the comments. But, uh, you guys have asked me a couple times, you know, what are my thoughts on this, and here we go. We have a lightning user here. Oh shit, that was nowhere near me. Oh shit, he has the same Biden. You never see anybody really using that weapon. Maybe the first opponents that's used the St. Biden that I have fought. Not sure. There it is. Big damage from the fucking Moonlight, dude. And we're able to fucking cast right along with it. Oh, just missed him with that Soul Greatsword. So again, options for me, man. Makes it a good fun time. Alright, let's see if we can get him with a crystal. Wrong time to drink, my friend. And it's all over. Good game. This has been my top three third pick, Moonlight Greatsword. Alright, so number two, top five great swords, guys, gonna land itself the Onyx Blade. This thing is a beast. So, we have descaling for strength, descaling for dex, C for both faith and intelligence. So, Elfried, this um, uh, eldest, citizen, uh, eldest among her sister and leader of the Sable Church, bestowed this sword to her knight. Only the sword is a farewell gift. Acceptance signified the knight's resignation from Elfried's service. You get Elfried's black flame for the skill. This sword is amazing. So, we're hitting for 674. Great AR. This thing, so it's self-buffing, dude. If someone's standing in front of you when you go to do the buff, they're going to receive damage on top of that. Um, the length on this thing is what's going to land it on number two. The length, the power, dude. The ability to cast pyromancies with it. It's fucking amazing. I love the Onyx Blade. This is going to be number two. Alright, let's see how we do with our number two pick. Again, so the Onyx Blade, man, for me, I, I love, I fell in love with this blade the moment it came out for the DLC, uh, you know, for uh, Ashes of Arendelle. Um, again, it's self-buffing, dude. Look at this guy, just smoked him with the besties. You're able to cast very strong pyromancies with it because, you know, having that faith and in intelligence is going to boost your AR up to where it is. We'll just eat that damage, who cares? And, uh, you know, anybody who's trying to get in off you when you're buffing, too, like I said, it kind of, you know, it will push them back. And it's over. Good game. Very versatile. Pyromancies, love it. This has been the Onyx Blade number two pick. So our number one pick, you all saw this coming if you know me. That's right, Gale's Greatsword. This thing is a goddamn beast. It is fucking deadly, dude. It just destroys people. It is my love affair for Greatswords in Dark Souls 3. Let's just call it that, alright? So, check it out. Gale's Greatsword plus five. Um, we have Greatsword of the Slave Knight Gale, the only weapon that he kept with him from beginning to end. Originally an executioner's sword made for decapitation, this blade is heavily chipped and stained with the blood of countless battles. You get the Blade of Pearl for the skill. Um, you guys all know the L2 flips you kind of horizontal sweeping downward, and you get a couple choices from there. So we're hitting for 525, very uh, formidable damage. C scaling, D scaling on uh, strength and dex. So check it out. As you guys know, you can R1 into the weapon R into the R1, which is going to net you seven to 800 damage, uh, sometimes even more, depending on resistances. You have this tricky shit right here to where you can unlock and kind of, uh, you know, jump forward your opponent. Dude, this thing is my baby greatsword. Number one pick, Gale's greatsword. Let's go. Fucking love it. Alright, so this is our number one pick once again. So what do you guys think? I'm curious for your top five great swords in the game. Put them in the comments down below, guys. Um, I'd like to start a little discussion about this. If you oh, we have the ring knight paired great swords here. I'll show you how we deal with these. So this again have the three piece of doom. Um, you know, I run it on a tank build known as Gunder Gale, dude, and when you are a tank, you're just a formidable force. Watch this shit. Spacing, my friend. They can't fucking touch me with that L1 dash anymore, man. I know exactly where to be to punish that with a greatsword. So, uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. We're gonna make this the last fight of the video. This has been Top 5 Great Swords for the entirety of Dark Souls 3, man. Uh, you know, you guys asked for it, and here it is. Um, I think the list, I like it quite a bit, actually. I think it has, uh, you know, good picks. And for my number one, Gale's Great Sword, dude, is just a force to be reckoned with, man. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. We will see you on the next one. Peace out.